Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Wanted to do a quick video talking about a Blu-ray, sort of, release of one of my favorite TV series of all time, and that is Parker Lewis Can't Lose. So um, this was a great 90s time capsule TV show that um, completely embodies the cheesiness of the 90s, um, the like attitude and uh, the fun. So... This is one of my favorite TV series, as I said. It was released on DVD season one and two in America. Season three never came out in America on DVD. Um, I was doing some snooping on the internet, and I found out that Germany got a SD on Blu-ray release of all three seasons region free. So what SD on Blu-ray is, I had to kind of uh, read up on that. It's pretty much... DVD quality, or a little worse sometimes, transferred over to Blu-ray discs. So the Parker Lewis DVD sets for Season 1 and 2, I believe, are four discs each. This is a two-Blu-ray package with all three seasons on it. Uh, I remember the quality being a little better on the DVDs, though I could be wrong. I haven't watched it in a very long time. Um, <clears throat> the first season of Parker Lewis on DVD goes for anywhere from $10 to $20. The second season's much harder to find. I guess it didn't sell well. Uh, I sold my lightly scratched up version for $30. Um, I've seen it go between $30 and $50 roughly. On Amazon, it's $200, but it would not, it'll, it'll never sell for that. So I, I think $30 to $50 is probably a good price range. And that's not even considering that you don't have the whole series because season three is where the show ended, and season three never came out on DVD in America. So I thought... For twenty, this is between twenty-five and thirty dollars right now, brand new. I got this on eBay sealed. Uh, I paid twenty-six with shipping from um, the UK, and it has all three seasons, as I said. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, as I said, it also has just everything on two discs. Uh, there is some caveats, though, that I do want to make you aware of. Um, supposedly, if you have a Sony Blu-ray player, they can be a little finicky with other regions, even if the disc is region free. I have a Samsung Blu-ray player. I just watched uh, like a half an episode or not even a, a little bit just to check it out. And I had no issue. I uh, hear it works fine as well on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, but I haven't tried that yet. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind if you do go this route. Uh, the other thing is everything is obviously in German. So instead of call it being called Parker Lewis Can't Lose, it I think it says Parker Lewis is too cool for school. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm assuming this word here, S-C-H-U-L-E, is school, but whatever. Uh, the back is all in German as well. Uh, there's our good buddy Kubiak before he went on to star in ER, I think. So <clears throat> the other thing is, since this is a uh, PAL release, there's two other things. Uh, it's in German, but you can switch the audio to English, which is fine. The pitches of the voices are a touch higher on PAL releases, and I don't know why, but there was something to do with the way the PAL region formats things. Um, <clears throat> any of their shows have a tiny bit of a higher pitch. So if you hear a voice, it will sound just a tiny, tiny bit higher. Uh, it's not really distracting. I think if you were to put them side by side and say, oh, here's the American version, here's the PAL version, you'll notice it. If you're just watching something, I don't think you'll really pick up on it um, audio-wise. The other thing is, uh, as I said, the quality wasn't great, um, but it's passable. It's almost like that borderline VHS DVD quality. This show was never like remastered or anything. And back when they filmed it in the 90s, I guess they didn't, you know, they didn't film on the best of the best. And, and you know, maybe it was only 480 and they stuck to 480 and that's it. And it's never going to get any you know, further treatment. Um, the other thing is with PAL format, if I'm explaining this correctly, so forgive me if I'm not, you know, if you're from the UK or from Europe, you probably know this uh, better than I do. The There's something to do with the way the PAL versions are is that there's more frames. So this is actually 4% faster. So some of the, so the scenes are actually a little quicker um, than they would be. So between the the pitch of the of the voices being a touch higher, the show is actually like the episodes are four percent shorter. And you can go down in the comments and chime in if I'm explaining that incorrectly. If you have 
further knowledge on that. Um, but that's the other thing that I've uh, read about go watching a PAL version of something in America. The the pitch is a touch higher and it's a tiny bit faster because America um, did something with the frames and PAL did something else and the way it runs, it just runs a tiny bit quicker in regards to what you're you're seeing. I mean, the voice is still matching up. I, I'm not hearing any like um, delays in the voice or you know, the mouths are still in sync with the words, but it's uh, I suppose it's a little bit quicker. So yeah, I would, uh, from what I've tested so far, I would recommend this. If you're looking to get the Parker Lewis Can't Lose complete set here in America and you don't want to dole out like 50 to $70 for just two seasons, 25, 26 bucks, brand new sealed from Germany. Um, this is a pretty good deal. I wish it were a Blu-ray and it was better quality and it didn't have the little caveats with the, the pitches and the, the speediness of the, the, uh, frames, but I think that's a pretty good deal for three seasons on, uh, on Blu-ray and it, you know, it doesn't take up a ton of room. It's pretty much the size of a DVD case or those fat Blu-ray cases that they sometimes have in Europe. Um, you know, show you a little bit of the case on the inside. And for some reason, they did a reversible cover. So I was like, oh, maybe the other side's in English, but it's not. So, yeah, check out the Parker Lewis box set SD on Blu-ray, which is made by Turbine. It is a Sony uh, Pictures television show. Uh, I'm a big fan of Corin Nemec, who was just in Rotten Tail. Uh, and I still follow Billy Jane on uh, on Facebook. Him and I are, you know, friends on Facebook, so I... I follow him, and um, oh, I'm going to forget his name. I'm friends with him on, on Facebook and Twitter. His name's escaping me right now. I feel like a uh, Troy Slayton. He's a uh, pretty popular attorney now, and uh, he's on TV shows like CNN and Fox, and he does interviews, and he's always very pleasant when I speak to him online. So check this out, and it's, a, it's just a good way to pick up this series if you were unaware of it. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Synchronized swatches.